To tell a story in film, you need to have scenes. And scenes are composed of shots. Different shots serve different purposes depending on what you are trying to say. Some shots are huge and wide and show a lot of the scene, while others are a little more tight and narrow, focusing on one detail. So I'm gonna cover every single size shot here, starting from the widest to the narrowest. Let's go. And first up, we have our establishing shot. This shot is typically one of the widest shots and it basically establishes the location of your story. Most often, scenes will start with an establishing shot just so we know where the characters are in their world. Now we have the wide shot. Although a wide shot looks like an establishing shot, it's not the same thing. A wide shot includes a subject within the frame that compares it to its location. So in this instance, a wide shot can convey an emotion of loneliness or simply to establish this character's location in their world. Here we have the full shot. The full shot includes its subject from their feet to the top of their head. This shot is most commonly used to bring our attention to this character and to their actions. All right, now we're bringing the frame just a little bit closer with the cowboy shot. So a cowboy shot gets its name from its old spaghetti westerns where you would have the frame cut off right above the knee of the subject, including to the top of the head. This shot is called the cowboy because you can still see the holster of their gun and was most commonly used once again in spaghetti westerns. Now we've come to the medium shot. Medium shot is actually what you're probably looking at right now. It's above the waist to the top of the head of the subject. This is the most common and most natural way we actually interact with other humans. So this is probably the most common shot used when we're filming subjects. All right, and the cousin of the medium shot, we have the over the shoulder shot, also known as OTS. The over the shoulder is exactly what it sounds like. It's a medium shot where we have the other subject framed over the shoulder of another one. This is most commonly used in dialogue sequences, but can also be used to show what a subject is looking at. And now we have the last of our medium shots, the medium close-up. A medium close-up is framed mid-chest to just above the subject's head. This provides us a little bit more intimacy and we get to see more details that we might not with just a medium shot. Use this to create dramatic effect in your sequences. Now we've come to the tightest shots we have, which include the close-up. So a close-up is framed typically the bottom of a chin to the top of someone's head, maybe even a little bit cut into the forehead. A close-up is designed to bring us really close to the subject where we can see very intricate details in their face. This can help see all the tiny emotions they might be having or the emotions they're hiding in that case. So use this when you really want to bring the audience's attention to that character's feelings. And finally, we come to our tightest shot possible, the extreme close-up. What we're focusing on here is usually one particular detail of a subject or a scene. In most cases, it's actually the eyes, but it could be anything, a subject's hands, their writing, a piece of paper on the table, whatever it is, bring it in close and it's telling your audience that, hey, pay attention, this is important. So there you have it. Those are all the types of shot sizes you have in film. Each one has its own purpose and use case, so use it effectively. So next time you're watching a movie or a TV show, see if you can distinguish between these different types of shots. You'll be surprised how often certain shots are used and why they're used. And you might even notice that you can use them a little bit differently than even I had mentioned in this video. So thank you so much for watching. I hope this was useful for all you filmmakers and content creators out there. Don't stop creating, like and subscribe. I'll see you next time. Peace.